All right, so I am very excited for this uh, package. I'm doing an unboxing on. I uh, I kind of cheated already and peeked in there. I know what was coming. I know what was in there. But the ring camera went off that I got this. So I had to track the person down at UPS so I can get it. Signature required. So right off the bat, that is one thing I'm very happy about. So if you go with this route and you order this, and you order from, I'll just say it, well, I don't know what I'm going to do for the screenshot or the title. But whatever. It is what it is. So if you go with Alba Racing um, and you're not home, don't worry about it getting slowing off your porch because it's going to need a signature. If you're not home, you know, going and dealing with this is kind of a pain in the butt because you have to go to the UPS store and pick it up. But for me, I'm very happy because... I didn't want this getting stolen off my porch. So here we go. Like I said, I already cheated a little bit. Darren, you wanna come hold this for me? Get it so you can see. Come over here. Pull a couple things out first. These are gonna be the my favorite ones to deal with. But this is awesome what's in this little box right here. Can you look at me for a second? Do you see me in the picture? This one, I'm very happy about this little box right here. Um, so I've been emailing with them and talking with them. And uh, I asked for some, if they could send any gifts. You want to do it, Kaya? Can you do it, Kaya? Give it to Kaya. There. I asked for some gifts. So it looks like a little... I'm guessing it's an air freshener or something. Just back up. I don't need you in my face. But that. But got a little hat. I said, can you send my little dude a hat? Would you wear this hat, dude? Come here. Yeah. It's a it's not an Alba hat or an Elka hat, but it is a racing hat. These people here, they make uh, uh piston, racing piston parts. Oh, a little smaller. Is that perfect? Where you go? Yeah. She got a little racing pissing hat now. How cool is that? I can wear it. I can wear it um, when they go riding. Yep. A little keychain. A little Alba Racing keychain. I'm happy about. I got stickers. And a couple of stickers. You know, this is a little bit extra. I guess when you buy $300 shocks, you get stickers. So cool. We'll go with the A-arms. I just opened one. I don't know if I'm going through it all. So these are the uh, brake line connectors that, I'm going to, that comes with the kit, along with the brake lines. They look really good. Comes with everything you need there. And then this is going to be one of the lower A-arms, which is great. Again, this probably looks dirty in the screen because it's been sitting in my truck. It says uh, Alvaran there stamped in. Looks pretty good. This is not the uh, long travel. This is just the standard travel. Um, this will probably be two or three part video. This is just a rough unboxing. I don't think I'm going to do a assembling video because there's plenty of those out there. So this is the lower. This will be the upper. This will be the tie rods. Oh, two of the lowers, tie rods. These two here are the uppers. And then these are the uh, joints on the end. Little spacers. Let's see the instructions on the bottom, so great. I'm not gonna get too crazy with this. I like your hat, Darren. I do like it. All right. So there's that. Also, all this would get put on my quad probably Sunday. Yep. I'll start it Saturday night or Sunday. And this is gonna be. The main deal. Oh, wow. Did they even put it together? I'm, I'm going to do it Saturday or Sunday. Oh, they did put it together. Well, oh, it's kind of put together. 
Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little frosted color. It, it, Made in Canada, eh? Don't you know there? I thought it was American, but Canada works. Yeah. So they're 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 handmade assembled. I watch a YouTube video on them. Um, I will put links in the description. So if you are watching this video and you're thinking about this setup, you know, stay tuned because I'm going to talk more about them. And uh, in in the link in the description. There will be uh, more videos of what I watched that made me want to uh, uh, get these. Um, said this is just a first introduction opening box video. Uh, my next videos in the future are going to be more in it. You know, it's probably be a series of videos just in this. What's that? That's, this a, thing. that's the rear shock. That's just a, a reservoir. Oh. There's oil in there along with hydrogen gas, hydrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen gas. This is the rear shock. Oh, that's cool. Then what does that one go to? That'll go, go to the front. Those are the two front shocks. And then this is the rear shock. No, I'm, talk I'm talking about... It matches the color, too. Yeah. Oh, so that's the yep. back shock? Yep. And this is uh, adjusted for my weight. You can see the different springs in there. This is not just one solid spring, two different springs for weight. These are set up for my weight, and I said I weigh about 200 pounds. I said between 200 and 225. So for any rider that's along there, this is what your setup should look like. And what else we got in here? The small packaging, packaging. What's in here? Packaging, packaging. I talked with Elka. Yep, here we go. Here are the tools to adjust them. Came with one sticker. I wish they gave me more. Again, awesome little editorial video. And where I'm going to put it, I'll probably mount mine like that. Yeah, shocks in there, mounted there. Yep. So that's pretty cool. So the tool in that. And there should be a warranty information in here as well, too. I'll read through that later. See about the warranty information. Let's see what's in this box. I don't know what this is. Oh! It's to hold the reservoir to mount that up. So it's going to hold that to mount that up against like the quad. Like tighten it? Yes. This is, going to, this is going to be secured to the side of the quad. Oh. But this is what I went with. Um, so my Raptor has the Pogo shocks, which are the worst shocks to have. I mean, they're fine for light trail riding, but if you're doing any kind of serious hard riding, hitting jumps or anything, they bottom out. And then they're just, I don't like the show. I don't like the pogo shocks. They're real stiff. But I don't know. So I just want to do a quick little unboxing. This video is either going to be by itself with more to come. Or I'm going to tie this in with other videos. You just have one big long video or a series of short ones. So I just made my mind up. It's going to be a series of short ones. So if you're just now seeing this video, um, look more on the channel depending on what stage i am with these shocks that's where they are uh, but other than that there is more to come so stay tuned